Because, ladies and gentlemen, if we're being fair, if we saw Donald Trump sit down in a black household, eat fried chicken with a father and a son, what would we say? We what? What would we say? What would we say? You know, folks out there would be calling it racist. Well, if it's racist for him, and I'm not saying it would be, but if it's racist for him, why wouldn't it be racist for Biden? Stephen, they want to be a Republican so bad. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Make sure you hit the merch link in the description section. The discount code is the answer. 20 the answer 20 get 20 percent off the entire store and also we have a new ambassadors program so if you want to make money with officer tater merch you can go on we give you 20 percent profit i mean we give you 20 percent of the sales so if you go on and you sign up for our ambassadors program you just go to the website uh, sign up with it if you happen to buy our merch love our merch like our merch any merch that you sell or you get somebody to purchase using your code you get 20 percent uh on that so if you want to make a little money and you love Officer Tater merch, you might as well make some money off of it, baby. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. I don't know why my intros be so corny sometimes. Anyway, let's talk about Stephen A. Smith real quick. Stephen A. Smith wants to be a Republican so bad. He, but, but, you know, he's caught in a, in a position where a lot of people that he rubbed elbows with, a lot of people that he know, a lot of people that he consider as his friend would probably disown him if he flat out came out and said, I'm voting for Donald Trump. Behind closed doors, Stephen A. Smith is probably going to vote or he intends to vote or wants to vote a field that is more applicable to vote for Donald Trump. I can almost guarantee you that. But you know he can't say that. It's no way in the world that you would have this much vitriolic things or this many vitriolic things to say about Joe Biden and the Democrats, yet you'll still vote for them. Let's keep it, let's keep it 100. Everybody in their mama can see what's going on. Stephen A. Smith is like crying out. Stephen A. Smith is like the dude in the choir that's doing this with the tangerine. And he want to come out. But he, I said, tam, I said tangerine, I mean tambourine. Lord Jesus. With a tambourine, he want to come out. But he can't come out yet. Because it ain't the right place at the right, in the right venue. That's how Stephen A. Stephen A. want to come out as a conservative Republican. He just can't yet. I want to play this clip so you can see him. He, he almost lo literally loses his voice talking about how ridiculous Joe Biden is. He started with hair on his legs and black kids rubbing hair on his legs to then the black kids are just as good as, uh, he said, uh, white kids are just as good as poor kids. What'd he say? Oh, poor kids are just as good as white kids. <laughs> like all black kids are poor. God dang. You, you don't know who you voting for. You, you, between me and Trump, you ain't black. And then he had some black kids have, eat fried chicken. Come on, bro. You think I'm going to let President Biden off the hook? This wasn't, Kamala, this wasn't Kamala Harris in Raleigh. This was him. This is the same dude who was a senator in the 90s pushing the crime bill. You know that crime bill that led to mass incarceration for an inordinate amount of black folks that Bill Clinton himself and others in the Democratic Party lamented? Well, who was more of a culprit in that regard than Biden? Yes, Stephen A. Who? The Democrat. You, you're naming all Democrats. I recognize what he's done for HBCUs. Who? Who? Donald Trump gave more money to HBCUs than Barack Obama did. Barack Obama ended permanent funding for HBCUs. Donald Trump put it back into place. Better than any other president that we can name. I recognize what he's done for infrastructure. I recognize what he's done for forgiveness of student loans. Hold on. Let's talk about student loans real quick. I, 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 wish, I, I need to go on his show so I can school him a little bit. Joe Biden didn't do nothing for student loans. <laughs> the prerequisite for you getting your student loans forgiven was that you couldn't have taken more than $12,000 out and you had to have been making payments on it for 10 years. <laughs> if you've been owing $12,000 for 10 years, <laughs> the government that made their money back 100 times over already on you. You have paid interest out the... If you still paying $12,000... Over 10 years. That means you literally still owe. That means you paying. They probably paying more than $1,000 a year. But the interest is killing them. That means you ain't even paid $1,000 a year towards your student loan. And $12,000 student loan ain't going to get you a semester nowhere. 10 years ago. But Joe Biden paid off your student loan. 
I recognize these things. I'm not trying to expel or expunge the good that he has done. But this imagery, I want to know who the hell came up with that idea. Going to use that to their advantage, right? And they'll be right to do so. Because ladies and gentlemen, if we're being fair, if we saw Donald Trump sit down in a black household, eating fried chicken with a father and a son, what would we say? We what, what would we say? What would we say? You know folks out there would be calling it racist. Well, if it's racist for him, and I'm not saying it would be, but if it's racist for him, why wouldn't it be racist for Biden? I'm not calling the president the R word. Here you go. This is the, this is the guy with the, with the tambourine that won't come out. Why, why, why does he have to preface it like this? I'm not calling, I'm not calling Joe Biden racist. Although he helped author the bill that put a lot of black people in jail. I'm not calling him racist, although he said, you don't, if you don't know who you vote for, you ain't black. I'm not calling him racist because poor kids is just as good as white kids. I'm not, call, I'm not calling him racist, but he eating fried chicken with black people because stereotypically that's what he think black people want to eat. But I'm not going to call him racist. I'm not calling the president the R word. I'm not making that accusation. I'm not accusing anybody on the Democratic or the Republican side for feeling that way over such an incident. What I am saying is it is what you projected in the eyes of some people. You've given people that ammunition. And if you could give it to them on the right, what absolves you on the left from doing the same thing? I mean, damn, I should have ran for president. Some of the idiotic ass things that you folks do, the level of insensitivity, the lack of understanding, no wonder people are willing to vote for Trump in 2020 or 2016. No wonder they're looking for candidates all over the place. No wonder you lose faith in a political apparatus that exists. Some of the asinine decisions that y'all make. Did he just screech right there? Ah. Hey, with no asinine decisions. No regard, no understanding, totally oblivious to how it's going to look. You don't think... People going to look up Biden's history as a senator before he became president and juxtapose that to the imagery that was just provided. I should have ran. I might have got tens of millions of votes going up against some of y'all idiotic asses. You know, it's funny that old man be really cussing like he, he don't even know how to. I feel like Stephen A is one of them people that they said, hey, you can say these three cuss words on the radio now. They're now available, and he only used those three cuss words. As corny as they sound coming out of his mouth, he, he literally uses these same cuss words as if it adds value to his rant and conversation. Now, I will say this. I hope that he do vote for Donald Trump, but he's afraid to say that uh, Joe Biden is a racist. He did the eulogy. He forgot to say, if you, if you listen to Stephen A., you forgot to say that Joe Biden did the eulogy of Robert Byrd, who was a former Klan's member. And when I say former, I want to I want to I want to preface this. He he did leave the Klan's uh, group or whatever they called it. He found it in a small town. He did denounce his involvement with them. But if it was a Republican that had any involvement with the Klan, they would never live it down. That man could have abolished the Klan. He could have single-handedly killed every Klan's member in, in United States history, and they'll still be like, he was a Klan's member. But then when a Republican, when a Democrat do it, y'all just turn a, turn, a, turn a blind eye. What about Strom Thurmond, who was an open racist? Joe Biden called Strom Thurmond his mentor. Brother, but, but Stephen A, don't, he ain't went that far yet. I don't know how black folks that are educated that are involved politically vote for Democrats. I don't know how they see them as a viable option. I don't know how they vote for them whatsoever. I think that 99.9% uh, that .9 of black people should be Republicans. And if you, if you don't like what the Republicans are doing, then you shouldn't vote. But ain't no way the Democrats should get your vote. They have done nothing for black people. I see what he signed on infrastructure. Pete Booty Snitch is running around talking about the bridges were lower for racism. Y'all going to reconstruct an entire freeway to make the bridge higher so somebody can drive an antiquated bus through there for black people that don't even use the bus? They got their own cars now? These people are stupid in 40 left shoes on a 10-legged man. 
I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoy my content, I guarantee you, you will enjoy Tatum Plus. Brand new platform that we just launched. Exclusive content behind the scenes of speaking engagements. All the stuff you can't see on all of my social media platforms. We'll always have free content, but the extra stuff for people that really love my content will be on Tatum Plus. So go join Tatum Plus today.